Hi everyone, welcome back to this out of fashion. Okay, I wonder with it. Today's episode is going to be on how to cut the cream on the wedding dress. As you can see, it, so the first thing we're going to do when we want to cut that cream is to cut out the half pot. And this is what I've done here. This is the half pot before cutting out the cake. So I'll be using this pattern to cut out the cake before transferring it to a fabric. So, the measurements that I use there for the shoulder is 7.5 inches, the armor is also 7.5 inches, and the bust measurement is 40. So, the waist measurement is 40. So, all these is with, is with slim allowance, and leaving these inches for, um, for the zip allowance. So the, the inches I left here is all custom. You can leave any inches of your choice. This is one inch, as you can see. So, the next thing I'll be doing here is to fold this into four. This is into two already. Then into four. Folding it into four before you can do anything on the pattern, you have to take the measurement from the center here, from the center of the back to where the shoulder stop. You can see it, you can see the way I go down the two bits. Now, the actual um, on shoulder measurement is 7.5 inches, but you have to go down a little bit to this area, which is nine inches. You can see where I stop it nine inches from the center of the back, then from this nine inches. You're going to go down to 15 inches. It's not constant. It depends on where you want the cape to stop. You can even decide to stop it at 13 inches. It depends on where you want it to stop. So I'll be leaving 15 inches here with the same allowance. You can see it's 15 inches. You can use 13, you can use 12. It depends on where you want the cape to reach so this is 15 inches then this is the measurement i'm going to transfer to the pattern before cutting it out so now this is the nine inches so i'll be using one one inch of shoulder slots so from that one inch i'm going to go that I said all is going to be 15 inches. That's 9 plus 6 is going to give me 15 inches. So this is where my 6 is. And I'll be connecting my lines together. As you can see. Then you can see the shape of the neck. You can decide to make a curve. Is that a curve side at the chest? Like this. So the way that you're going to use at the front, you have to take it first before you can do anything. Let me make this off. 0.5 inches with the same allowance. This is 2.5 inches. Two point five inches. Two point five inches. From here now, I'm going to make a cup. This is where the six is. So I'm making a cup like this. 
Thank you. So after that, the next thing is the length of the the length of the cape. The length of the cape at the front here is the same as the length of the half foot. And the length of the half foot that is deducted was 15 inches. So I'm using 15 inches here. So the same allowance of one inch because this is is going in the half foot. After then, I'm going to cut it out. This is the the cake. I cut this out because I'm cutting for two people. That's why I cut it out like this. So I'll now take one of these to cut the back out. You can try to fold it into four by leaving the zip allowance directly before you can cut out the cake. But since I cut out the two at once for the front, so I'll be placing this here to cut out the back, leaving zip allowance. I'll be leaving one inch of zip allowance here. Then I will cut it out. So, this is the one with the back. You can see, they are now the same. Thing. It also has a zip around here, so I will place it into it before cutting out the neck. So the neck is not that wide. So the wideness of the neck I'm using a is three inches. So this is three inches for the wideness of the neck. Yeah. Then the deepness for the back is going to be. 1.5 inches 1.5 inches and the deepness of the front is going to be 7.5 inches it depends on how deep you want the neck to be it's not constant <laughs> This is the back. This is the back neck, and I will be cutting out the front neck. It's like a V shape. You can try to make it go down a little bit, depending on how you want it to be. You can see. Then I will be cutting it out. So after cutting it out. I'll be dividing it into two. Then I'm going to place it here to cut out the front neck. Front neck for the neck for the main half foot, then this is the front neck for the cape. Then I'll be placing this pattern on the fabric and I'll cut it out. Then I'll be dividing this into two where I did on the on the cape. The way I did on the cape. So this is the half foot and this is the cape. I'll divide the front into two. You can see it. So 
this half pot, you can cut it with one with a breast pot. You know, when you're sewing a wedding gown, it must have a breast pot. So you have to part this, um, do the line, the facing, then you will sew it. When you get to the neck, when you, you turn the neck away, they will be facing. So when you come here, when you put your steel, it will, it will become hard. Then you now join it with the neck of the half pot. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to join the half pot. Then after that, I'm going to join the cake before attaching the cake on the half pot. Welcome back. Yeah, the finished work so far. This is the cake. As you can see, you can see the side of the cake. You can see the sleeve. And you can see the front cake. You can see it. You can see the way I cut it. You can see how simple this is now. So just make sure that when you're cutting this on the fabric, you put a facing and you put a gum stitch to make it stand. The same thing applicable to the back. You can see it. You can see the front. So, the reason why the thing is not fitting in on the mannequin is that the side of this is lower than the side of the mannequin. That is why. So, if you are cutting this on the fabric now, make sure you put a facing and you put a gun straight to make it stand exactly the way you are seeing it on the picture. So, if you like this story so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are watching me for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I really appreciate you guys for watching my video always. See you in my next slide. Bye.